Hey, Void. How you doing? So, now I'm focusing on A almost exclusively for right now, so for the A's in my collection. So we'll see how far we get before I get distracted and start bouncing around. Now, AD Police. <clears throat> so, uh, AD Police has been around in a couple incarnations. This is the only one I have and have seen. There is a small, like, OVA series. And then uh, I believe it ties into the Bubblegum Crisis universe, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, AD Police, or AD Police to Protect and Serve. 1999, it's a 12-episode series. And, yeah. It's pretty passable. This film, this series, doesn't really have a lot going for it. Uh, okay. So, it's set in a futuristic world where, essentially... Technological uh, has technology is advanced, and there's these robots called boomers, which essentially make run pretty much the most of this city. Uh, the Genom Corporation, oh, pretty much is is so prominent in the series. It's the ones that make the boomers. They it's now called Genom City after Tokyo got destroyed and rebuilt. Anyway, uh, sometimes these machines go haywire and start going homicidal, and so they. Had a, the, or get hacked and go homicidal, or people use them for bad things, and they're very dangerous. So they had to create a whole police diversion, the Advanced Police, or AD Police, to take care of them. And uh, we are primarily uh, following... Um... Ooh, boy, I just finished watching this, and the names are already escaping me. Uh, Kenji. Ken, uh, Kenji's our boy, and uh, he's got a problem because his partners keep dying on him, so... Finally, he's partnered up with a new guy to the force, Hans, and uh, they begin a bromance to end all bromances as uh, they link up to, well, stop boomers. And uh, there's a, uh, essentially there's a underground gang slash hacker group that, uh, is responsible for most of the high-profile crimes, and so the guy who is essentially running that is the one that they were pretty much after. Which could be very interesting. But it really isn't. Uh, <clears throat> they have a whole police force of what could be interesting characters, but we spend so little time with the main force, and it's pretty much all on uh, Kenji and Hans, that... We don't really learn anything about them, and so we don't really care when something bad happens to them, like when something bad's happening to Jose. We Jose had had, like, three lines of dialogue before this, and now we're finally supposed to care about him and his family. Wasn't really doing it for me. <clears throat> I mean, all I know is Mary's the one that usually flies the helicopter and likes potato chips. Uh, Karen's Butch. Yeah, and I can't even remember their uh, captain's name. So, uh, yeah, that's there. So it's they're very end up being very forgettable. So, which is a shame because there's one episode that kind of stands out. It's pretty much Kenji and Hans are just at a bar, and then the other characters are occasionally coming in, and the way they play off of each other actually was working. It was a my favorite episode. It's the only episode I actually say I really enjoyed, and it's just the characters hanging out at a bar, or occasionally hiding from each other at the bar, and it was kind of funny. But otherwise, the characters, at that time, the characters actually felt like they were developing. But it's one episode in 12, so not much really happens. And, I mean... And outside the Ada, their romance, I mean, Hans is pursuing this one lady, which... Their romance is kind of okay, working-wise. Like, you can see what's how they're playing off of each other, even though Hans is a little stalkery. But Kenji, he's got a girlfriend from the start. I could not tell you what her name is. I don't know if it's ever even said. She occasionally is just there to look majestic, to inspire him, or start playing uh, her violin. Was it a violin? I can't... I think it's a violin. Anyway. Or she gets kidnapped in one episode. Or more if she's involved in a hostage situation. But otherwise, she impacts absolutely nothing. She 
other than one random hostage thing in like the third episode, she's there for Ken to have someone to Kenji just go home and just brood next to. A lot of it just doesn't amount to anything. And there's kind of some twist with, uh, with Hans's background, which could have been interesting, but the way it ends just feels like it was a lot of build up for to just drop it and have it come to nothing. I think they're trying to go with a tragic end for it, but it just feels more either frustrating or disappointing rather than sad. So, yeah, AD Police, it's frustrating and sad, I think actually sums it up. So, it's very passable. Theme songs, the theme song was working for me. The opening's a banger. But, uh, otherwise, and it, the animation's very 90s. This came out in 99. The animation's probably more mid-90s. 80 Police, three MacGuffins is really the best I can do, and that's being generous, because, really, it's not bad. It's just boring. And, well, there's a few things I do like, but overall... It is kind of a slog. But it's only 12 episodes, so it's a short slog. Hi, right, boy. Catch you later.